Hi, have you seen this free awesome designer tool by Microsoft? You should use it if you are a presenter because this free AI tool can help you do a lot of useful things like it can help you generate an image based on your prompt. It can help you create your own stickers. You can create greeting cards, create designs. You can restyle an image. You can create a collage. You can frame an image. You can erase parts of your picture remove background and even create a brand kit, all of it totally free. In this video, I'll show you some wonderful capabilities of this tool. The first time I saw this tool, I was mesmerized. So let us jump right in. Before that, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. Let us first explore image creator. But before that, to access Microsoft designer, you just need to search for Microsoft designer in any search engine of your choice and click on the first option that you see. If not, you can always go to designer.microsoft.com. You just need to sign up for a free Microsoft account. Then you can take advantage of this generative AI options totally for free. Let me go to generate into the image creator. Here I need to describe the image I want to create. Now I want to write a prompt saying I want an image of a suited business woman wearing a propulsion jet propulsion engine flying towards the sky. So whatever that came to my mind, I just wrote and I said generate. Now you need to wait for a little bit of time as designer generates images. Four options will be given to you. You can choose the one that really suits your requirement. All the images are generated in square dimension and you can see that we have some really beautiful options available. Of course, some of them look very weird like this one is weird. It looks as if she has crashed into that engine, but this one looks really beautiful and this one also looks quite nice. Now I wanted something where the woman wears jet propulsion engine. So this one is more to my requirement. I can click on this and I have the option to either copy this directly by using right click copy image option or I can use copy here or if I want download option I can click on download and it can be sent to phone or you can just say download and it will be downloaded onto your computer. I can then go to the specific folder and then copy that image come back to PowerPoint and stick it on my slide and I can use it as one of the assets for my slide creation. So if you are looking for a certain image that is not readily available in any of the stock photo sites, then you can create an image all by yourself by writing the relevant prompt and choosing from the options that are generated by designer.microsoft.com. Let me close this. Let us try another option. This time I'm going to choose sticker creator. Let us click on generate. You can see that there are quite a few ready-made stickers that are available here. If you want to use any of them, of course you can use them. But if you want to generate your own sticker, then you need to describe the sticker that you want. Let me click here and the sticker this time I want is once again a suited businessman this time. I don't know what is it, what is my obsession with suited business men or women. So a suited businessman uh, sinking in water, seeking life boy to save himself. So I have really written very, very specific thing. Of course, when you write something like this, I don't know what kind of an image you will get in Google, but let us see what kind of a sticker that we are able to generate using the creative, the generative AI of the designer tool in Microsoft. So there I see some very interesting options. This one looks just the way I want it. I can click on it and I can download it. It has got a transparent background. It works so beautifully on my slides. So when I go back to my slide after copying, I can create a new slide and stick it. Goodness, awesome. This is so beautiful that I can use it immediately in my presentation for any of the concept explanations. Let me go back to the other options available. Let us say I feel like wishing somebody on their birthday. I can try the greeting cards option here. Now you might notice that there is something here which started with 15 but now I only have 13 available. These are boosts. You only have 15 for a given day. This to my mind looks like a measure by Microsoft to ensure that this tool is used for your personal use rather than for a commercial use. So the number of users is restricted for per day basis. 
otherwise everything is totally free now let us try and create a birthday for aarti so a birthday card for aarti with uh, her name written on a cake add sparklers and confetti to the image so there is a specific requirement that i have and let me see what microsoft does with it yo so beautiful here the name is perfectly spelled in the second one there is a spelling issue and the third one also has a spelling issue after all it is ai and you can't really totally depend on this for your final output this again is perfect now the best part about this is there is even a prompt for the text that i need to include in the card isn't that awesome now let us say i like this because this one has sparklers and it is very colorful now when i click on this watch this here is the card now the card is opening and we have this beautiful wish and the text that we had on the side is now shown here what more do you require to make someone feel special isn't it of course you can always edit the text and change this the way you want you can rotate it do all kinds of alterations and once you are happy you say looks good and that will be settled you can download this image but then when you download it it will not really be the way that is shown here let me show you what we got here when i click on it you can see that we have the image here and then the text is written here this in my opinion is not really that fancy but i really liked the way that uh, the greeting card came maybe i can do some screen recording and have this whole animation captured and i can send that as a video it is just a thought that occurs to me you can try whatever you think is the right one for you let me close this now let us try the next one which is the design creator this is a very useful tool let me show you what this one does you can design a poster an instagram post a facebook post whatever that you like you can actually create for free and some very awesome results are shown here i want to show you what is possible here i want to say a firefighter in suit instructs or gives tips on fire safety i can say create a poster showing a firefighter in suit gives giving tips on fire safety so that should be a good one let me say generate if i want to add my own image i can do that I can always click on this and that will give me an option to include my image in the poster. I don't really want that. So let us just say generate and see what results we get. So there we have some options available. If you want it in an illustration style, you can do this or if you want it to be a little more strict, you can have something like this. There are different types of fire marshals available and some very interesting posters are designed by AI. I can choose the size at this point so I can go here and if I want to have say a landscape kind of uh, a poster I can click on it and there will be some options generated for me for that you can see that we have some nice options available and these ones can be used directly on my slides if I want to let us say I want this and this is a beautiful animated one I can say download and let us see what happens it is an mp4 and i'm saying okay to download it let me go here and let us see how this one looks on my slide there it is i can extend this all the way yeah that looks good when i go to slideshow and play this you can see that we have some very interesting animation where uh, this firefighter is giving me instructions on uh, fire safety let me close this and see what some of the other options are this one is collage creator you can use up to 10 images to create your own collage with a nice frame and if you are someone who is interested in framing an image you can have your own image inserted and then ask ai to give you some options for the frames you can see that there are some very interesting options available you can even instruct the microsoft designer to give you a custom made a specific frame to suit the message that is being conveyed inside the picture it is completely beautiful you can choose the image you can choose the elements you can choose the style there are some very good options available here let me close this now let me show you how this one works it is called generative arrays let us try it i am going to upload an image that i have on my computer let us pick some image maybe this one is an image of uh, aarti in chef sean i am going to upload that image 
and Microsoft designer would set this up for me so I can work with it. There are some very interesting options available here. If I want to remove the background, I can use this option. If I want to select anything, any specific item inside the image, I can use this. There are some very interesting options available. Now let us wait for AI to set up the image here. Here we have the image. If there is any specific portion of this image that I find to be intrusive and I want it to be removed, I just need to point my uh, cursor over and you can see that the specific areas are uh, very nicely selected and I can remove those. For example, I see that this particular lid here doesn't really look nice. If you see this is uh, something that they have tried to paint and cover, this looks like a drainage cover. So I'm just going to click on this option here. As soon as I click on it, you can see that this patch has now turned into starry purple kind of a background. Then I can go to erase object and the AI will do its thing. And let us see what kind of a result we get. Now you can see that that particular thing has been erased and it looks fairly okay. Now I like this, so I'm going to say looks good. And that immediately gives me the option of how I can use it in various assets. For example, if I want to use a poster where the image is on one side and there is text on the other side, I can use it. And there are more options available here. And you can see some very nice posters can actually be created using the image that I just used. Let us say I liked this one and I can go here and I can write my own text. Let me select this and say this is Arti and here I can say Morocco and I click outside and this poster is ready. I can download this poster and I can use it wherever I want. Now if I want to use this poster but with some other design, like say this design, I can use that. Let me click on this option and see what happens. So immediately in that image, I have the image of Arti and the text is conveniently written here. I can always move this wherever I feel like and I can choose any kind of font. I can do all kinds of uh, changes here. This is one of the easiest ways to customize the posters the way you want. Now what I've shown you is a very small idea of what you can do with this option. I highly urge that you try your own options and see the kind of magic that this particular tool can do. Let me close this. And the last one that I want you to try is this remove background option. Once again, I'm going to upload an image. Let me choose this image that uh, is something that I took in one of the museums and you can see the result here. Automatically the background is removed and this is the result. It looks very clean, isn't it? There is absolutely no trace of background here and I can download this and let us see how clean the background is. Let us take it to PowerPoint. This is the image that is stuck on PowerPoint. Let me change the background and let us see how good this is. So this is the background. You can see that there is no trace of anything here and that shows you how beautiful this background cleaning has been by the AI designer. So go to designer.microsoft.com, try out these various options and you will really find some use for it whenever you want to create your next presentation. Now talking about presentations, if you're interested to know how to use PowerPoint animation in a creative way, I have just the right video for you that can make you go wow like this. And we also have the option for you to sign up for our 25 creative PowerPoint ideas, five day free email mini training. All you need to do to enroll into the training is to click on the link here. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course, and I will see you inside.